For months now, we've seen footage of destroyed Russian vehicles and casualty estimates in the tens of thousands. It's easy to take that and extrapolate out that they're losing this war, or at the very least, they can't continue on like this much longer. But what if that's not how Russia views things? Michael Kaufman is probably my favorite analyst that's covering the war in Ukraine. In my opinion, he's pretty level-headed, is kind of suspicious of everybody, like in a good way, and has avoided making sweeping conclusions from individual events on the battlefield. Anyways, on Monday, he was on the War on the Rocks podcast, and one of the things he focused on was Russia's perception of how the war is going. It's worth giving the whole episode a listen, but I'll read a short segment here directly from Kaufman. He said, quote, Objectively, Russia doesn't look like it's doing well in this war, but that's not the take on the Russian end at all. They don't sound like it. They're not making statements that suggest they believe they're losing. I think the Russian impression is that over time, this is a contest of wills, and they think they're going to grind the Ukrainian forces down. They think the West will eventually become exhausted in terms of political support, and the equipment that the West is going to send Ukraine won't make that big a difference. Essentially, the time is on Russia's side. Now, that's an American analyst's assessment of the Russian perception of the war in Ukraine. It's an opinion, not a fact. It's at least worth thinking about. I mean, the part that hit home to me was the comment about exhausted political support. I can't speak for the rest of the world, but let's be honest. In the United States, we kind of have a short attention span. And there are a lot of other topics that people in this country are more concerned about and more interested in than the war in Ukraine. I think it's pretty generally accepted now that without continued Western support, Ukraine wouldn't be able to stay in this fight that much longer. So it's not crazy that part of Russia's strategy isn't to just overcome Ukraine on the battlefield, but to outlast Western countries in terms of interest in the conflict at all.